joining this morning for the Lord.
are five things that white people do. Three, this is a new year. You see that your shoe. Now your white sneakers. I don't care if it's Ralph Lauren, Adidas, Nike, Puma. That white sneakers is gone. So my Otilo, throw it away. Like. Seen it, I almost cried like oh god I was just thinking do I have to get another one do I have to send the phone down to send the phone and the laptop to Nigeria and yeah, do you know that stupid store in my city ah with these two guys ah guys I'm so emotional like. guys <laughs> whatever you do in this life trust God though trust God because only a fool will say in his heart that there's no God Whatever you do in this life, trust God. See, I don't even want to know. I don't even care if people are looking at me now. See, I'm so emotional. Because you see, December, when this my laptop and my phone just suddenly packed up the same time. I, see, last year, my achievement was buying my Sony ZV-1 camera for my content creating, for content creation. And I bought my phone from Nigeria, right? I bought my phone, I shipped it in from Nigeria, and it was this old UK used kind of phone. I also bought my laptop from second hand, from Facebook Market, from Nick. Nick is the guy I bought my HP from when I just arrived in Belgium. So I bought my uh, MacBook from him also. So the MacBook, the camera, the phone, everything cost me around uh, 1,005 to 1,600 euros. Last year, I didn't have the money, but Ninu Kosi Kosi. The fact that I did not have, I was just, you know, trying to make something of myself and do something that will make me happy. I got the camera when I was using my SX mask and the quality was bad. And when this phone suddenly developed that problem, how I was bothered. I was like, how can I lose just one, almost a thousand euros investment just like that? Because I came to the Apple store. The store in my city was charging me 60 euros to fix my laptop. Then they told me that my phone, I will pay 700 euros for them to take my phone to Apple. Apple will give me a new one. But one of, the, I don't know what touched the worker's mind. One of them, one Morocco guy there, he just said I should go somewhere. That they will open the phone and fix it. I'm sorry if, if the scene is not clear. That they will open the phone and fix it, that I should go there. But when I just go to the shop, after the follow a week or so, the guy said, ah, no. Why did they refer you to me? Go to Apple Store in Brussels. I was like, ah, Apple Store in Brussels, okay. The, he said that store I went to is not Apple Store. They only sell. So I should come to Apple Store, I should go to Brussels. So I didn't have time. So I came here the day before yesterday. They told me that they have overflow. I should come very early in the morning before 10. That, that's the only way they can answer me. So I've been here since 9 a.m. Eventually they opened. Oh guys, I'm coming, my hand is paining me. Hi guys, so quick, I'm going to chip this in before continuing so that you guys see how good and kind God is to those he calls his children. He said, I have not seen the children of God begging bread, neither have, have I seen them forsaken. I know I'm not saying that Bible passage the same way, but it just came to my head that whatever you are going through, whatever you think that you are going through, whatever challenges you think you might be experiencing, he um, said, if the beds of the head do not worry for tomorrow, how much more you that he calls his child. So, don't worry. Just be thankful. In this year, God will settle everything that has caused you worry and pain. You guys, just, just trust me for saying that. Hmm? Don't look at it that only for no change sorrow. Just trust me for saying that. So now I'm going to continue the video from part B. Bye. So, I came here. Eventually when they opened, I was the second in line though. There were like three attendants on the ground. So since I came early now, they immediately I entered, they attended to me. That was 10 a.m. sharp. So somebody came, 
he tried. No, I put out the video as I were doing it. The, at first, the phone said, iPhone, the same error message I got when I tried to do it with my laptop that eventually crashed my laptop was the same message that the guy was getting, but my laptop was progressing. So, um, after a while, the guy came back, like around 10.30 or 10.40. He now said, I'm sorry, we need to replace this phone, that the phone cannot be fixed. Ah, my heart first do. Ah, God, I was just, immediately I said, okay, let me finish hearing what he has to say. Let me just, uh, <laughs> let me go back to December. In December, when I complained to my sister, she said she had the same issue with her phone, but her own laptop rebooted her own phone, because we use the same phone. And um, she told me that since you have the SS Max, because when I, um, a friend of mine was going to Nigeria, I gave him the SX Max, because the SS Max cracked. It fell and stopped, you know, it was so bad. That was why I stopped using it to vlog. And thankfully, a month or three months before then, I had bought my camera. So she now said, your SS Max is with you, sent, for, uh, sent to you already. So why not be using that? And instead of worrying, why not thank God that you still even have a replacement? And your HP laptop is still with you. So you have your document in two places. Just focus on being thankful. Don't look at the problem on ground. So, I packed it up and I just started telling God that Holy Spirit, please just help me. Now, fast forward to today, the guy just said they will replace it. And I said, ah, how much will it cost? Already when I came the day before yesterday, the third person that attended to me told me that uh, when Apple will check the problem, when they, their technician will check, it will be free. In as much as it's a software problem, they will restore the software for free. At first, my mind was okay because I had went back to that store in my city they said 60 euros before it was 50 so the spirit only spirit just said i should not drop the laptop that since i'm coming to apple store why not take the laptop and the phone together let them fix it in one place i still didn't know what i would expect i was still being stubborn i waited till they told me that the new price is 60 euros and i got angry and left so when i go here when i go here the guy now said they will replace my phone sorry my story is back and forth i'm just so i just feel like sharing because you see this way god works it can be very funny i know this is just a phone and people might not think much of it but this is something that could have potentially ruined the whole of december for me but i did not allow it i did not dwell on it because i said nothing will steal my joy you know it's july i, I promised myself that nothing will steal my joy and the holy spirit has been helping me so this december i could have dwelt on the problem and all of that <laughs> people are looking at me so uh the guy now said it's free i was like sorry what did you say the replacement of my iphone is free i didn't buy this phone in belgium i didn't buy the phone in belgium and i didn't even, I didn't even buy it brand new i didn't buy it from apple store he said it's free that i have apple care on the phone apple care plus apple care plus is a policy insurance that covers incident incident accident on the phone or any replacement or any technology technological problem and it will be repaired for it to be replaced for free if need be and i was like i did not do any insurance on this phone because this phone is uk used and the phone was used from someone in the uae so apparently probably the person had insurance on it they didn't ask me um receipt or anything like that they only asked me to enter my apple id password for them to change um they find my phone to remove the phone from find my phone so i filled some documents gave them my full name my address and they said i will get an email when the new phone is ready i'll come and pick it up from their office just like that but they wanted to take 700 euros for me i didn't even have it and whatever i doing whatever you do in this life just trust god just have a relationship with god your own personal relationship your own conviction and in this life and always practice the act of gratitude and thanksgiving it goes a long way it goes a long way i'm just going to stop here now thank you for watching this video to the end see you in another vlog bye bye love you guys please subscribe give this video a thumbs up leave your comment below Thank you so much for all your comments. When I, my phone got spoiled, you guys reached out to me. You guys left your comments. Some people messaged me on Instagram. I'm so thankful. You guys, YouTube has just been, YouTube has been amazing in my life. And I can't just say too much on it. My next video will be on how content creating, particularly YouTube, blew up my life positively. And guys, I trust me, it's going to be very awesome. So see you soon. Don't forget to turn on the, the notification bell. <laughs> I need to go. Bye bye. In fact, this year, I already know it's going to be my year of happiness, peace, blessing, joy. And I wish you guys the same also. Bye.